Hey everybody, welcome back to Back Country Amateur Radio. Today I want to talk a little bit about the problem that I've been dealing with with the uh, mic connecting to the X6100, the Zygu, and it going into transmit. After a little bit of playing around with it, I started to understand what was happening a little bit, but it definitely seemed to have something to do with the latest firmware update. So, I um, wanted to thank Radioddity and Zygu for letting me mess around with this thing and take it out into the field and experiment. It is a fun radio. I really like it. So starting with testing, I wanted to connect it to a dummy load so that I could just kind of let the, let the radio do its thing without having to worry about spurious emissions and throwing out a call sign every time it did something funny. So I connected the dummy load. I set up the radio for digital operation and then disconnected it and reconnected the mic and you saw what just happened. It went into transmit. So I decided to start testing a little bit with the connection method or process and I reconnected the computer to the Zygu X6100. And then I reconnect the mic and everything seemed okay. And then instead of disconnecting the mic, I disconnect the computer first. And it seemed fine. I didn't try to transmit. Instead, I turned the power off or turn the unit off and then power it back up. So effectively just a reboot. And you'll see here in a second as I restart the machine, it goes back into transmit with the mic connected. All right, so watching this thing power up, I haven't removed the mic and you'll see, there it is. It's in transmit again. Now it didn't seem to matter which frequency, but it just would go into transmit. So I decided to try this. Now the mic attacks the radio, and with intent transmit, I decided to add an external power source to the equation, and watch this. It seems to get rid of the problem. Continued testing, which I don't show here unfortunately, revealed that powering the unit up to 100%, or charging the unit up to 100% from an external power source, restore the radio to normal operation. But I can't say honestly that that is the ultimate solution. I do know that Zygu is working on a firmware fix to fix this problem. This started occurring after the recent firmware update dated 4.10.22, which I installed shortly after I got this radio. So I haven't really had this radio in normal functioning use the entire time I've had it because it happened so early. But other operators have had different issues after this firmware update. So those are working on, Zygu is working on resolving those. Now remember, power that thing up, charge it to 100%, and it should go back to normal operation based on what I found. But I'd be interested to hear what other people are experiencing here. So uh, thanks for coming out there with me and, uh, and seeing this radio. I, I really appreciate the support. Thanks for the thumbs up. And, uh, and please consider sharing this video with others if they have an X6100 and are struggling with it. I appreciate it. And you guys, I'll see you down the trail.